understanding idioms. Ship came in. Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms. Specifically, we're going to explore what it means when someone says their ship came in. This phrase is not only interesting but also a great example of how colorful and vivid the English language can be. So, let's set sail and discover its meaning together. To fully appreciate an idiom, it's essential to understand its origins. The phrase, ship came in, dates back to times when sea trade was a major economic activity. Merchants would invest in voyages, and the return of a ship laden with goods meant significant profits. Thus, saying someone's ship came in was synonymous with receiving great fortune or success. In contemporary times, this idiom has evolved. Now, it's used more broadly to signify any instance of good luck or financial gain. For example, if someone wins the lottery, gets a dream job, or receives an unexpected inheritance, we might say their ship has come in. It's a metaphorical way of expressing a turn for the better in someone's fortunes. Let's see how this phrase is used in real-life scenarios. 1. After years of struggling as an actor, he finally got a leading role. His ship has definitely come in. 2. When she heard about her promotion, she felt like her ship had come in. These examples illustrate how the idiom can be applied in various contexts, always retaining its core meaning of good fortune. For English language learners, idioms can be tricky. A common misunderstanding might be taking the phrase literally. Remember, when someone says their ship has come in, they are not talking about an actual ship but rather a metaphorical arrival of good fortune. I hope this video has illuminated the meaning and usage of the idiom, ship came in. English is full of such colorful expressions, and understanding them not only enhances your language skills but also enriches your appreciation of its cultural depth. Keep learning, and may your own ship come in soon. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.